So today we are going to do the KCET 2021 chemistry. So let's do that now. And so I think you can see the first question, which is not that clear. Correct. So for the reaction, they're given A plus B gives C plus D and delta H is equal to Q kilojoules. The equilibrium constant cannot be disturbed by, here it is uh, the addition of A. Okay, it is by addition of A. Second thing, addition of D. Third thing is increasing of pressure. Fourth thing is increasing of temperature. Okay. So here, equilibrium reaction. See, in equilibrium reaction, what will happen basically? Correct. We can see here A and B is here. Correct. And here C and D is there. The number of molecules, correct, on both the sides are equal. The number of molecules on both the sides are equal. So key points to note here is an equilibrium reaction here. What is the thing? The number of number of molecules in both the sides are equal. So we can see that this is equilibrium, correct? And now the question here is the equilibrium constant cannot be disturbed. So if I increase the, if I add A, this is my A. If I add A or D, it will be disturbed. If I increase the temperature, obviously it will be disturbed. So the only thing which cannot increase the equilibrium constant is the by increasing of pressure. So option C is the correct answer for this. Option C is the correct answer for this. Okay, so I, I didn't ask any of your opinions because I think the question was not clear. So that's the reason I asked. Okay. So option C is the answer for this. But the next one, I think I will ask you here. An organic compound X. This is my X on treatment with POC. Oh, it's not POC, it is PCC. Yeah. It is PCC. I'll write down here. PCC. In dichloromethane. Dichloromethane. Okay, gives a compound Y. Gives a compound Y. I'll just put a text here. Y. Compound Y reacts with iodine and alkali to form yellow precipitate of triiodomethane. This means triiodomethane. Pri iodo methane. So the compound X is which one? The compound X is which one in this? There is a question. If you don't know, you can just tell me in the chat, don't know. Or if you know the option, you can tell me in the option also, which option you, is your answer. The first one is CH3CHO. Second one is C3COCH3. Third is an alcohol, C3CH2OH. Correct? Last one is an acid, C3COH. So we an aldehyde, ketone, alcohol, and acid is there. They're asking about compound X.
dichloromethane on treatment with PCC or dichloromethane. So if you know the alcohols chapter, then you'll be able to answer it. If you don't know, please tell me in the chat that you don't know. Or if you know the options, just tell me in the options which option is the answer. So an organic common treatment with PCC or PCC and dichloromethane gives a compound Y. Compound Y reacts with iodine and alkali to form yellow precipitate of triiodomethane. Triiodomethane. Option D. Okay. So I got one answer as option D. The better I will do this, this question. See, clearly in the question it is given that compound Y gives what iodoform test. And one more thing, we should know like PCC. What is species basically oxidizing agent? So a strong oxidizing agent, correct? Yes. So which oxidizes what? Any oxidizing agent, we already learned in chapter alcohols, phenols and ethers, especially in the alcohols, which is a very strong oxidizing agent, correct? So it, what does it do? Which converts alcohol to which converts alcohol to what aldehydes, correct? Alto alcohol to aldehydes or ketones, aldehydes or ketones. So depending upon the reactant of the alcohol, second primary, secondary, tertiary thing, right? Depending upon that. So which means clearly what, without doing anything, Without doing anything, we can say that an organic compound in treatment with PCC here, PCC, organic compound X, gives a compound Y. We have to find what the compound X you have to find. So obviously, if X is reacting with the PCC is a strong oxidizing agent, it will give us what? An alcohol. So option C is the answer. Option C is the answer. So I'm not going to discuss about why or anything as of now. That I'll be giving you in the detailed solutions later. So this is a strong oxidizing agent. Okay. So remember, if it is oxidizing agent, what does it do? So it is mainly what? The first one. Correct? The alcohol to aldehyde or ketone. So X is an alcohol here. X is an alcohol. That's all. But good try. Okay. So now let me go to one important and very interesting question. Biomolecules notes I already shared. So I think you should be able to do this. Let me come on the video too. Yeah. So primary structure in nucleic acid contains bases as GATGC. The chain which is complementary to this chain is which one? Which is the option? Ah. 
how many of you got no idea about this? Let me know. Okay. Fine. Sai, have you gone through the biomolecules notes? Okay, one, two. Others, everyone knows it? Who knows it, at least this question? Only two students have told me that they don't know. Others, just I give a chat here, da. Chat. I give a chat here. No, or else I'll think that you know this chapter. This is actually a pretty much easy question. No, no. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Fine. Most of you are not knowing it, so better I will help you out. Okay. So here, what is the thing? Basically, primary structure nucleic acid contains basis as GAT, GC, the chain which is complemented to this chain is what? Correct? So this is basically what nucleic acids thing. Yes. And we have to know what is the complementary yes of each other. What is the complementary of G? What is the complementary of A? Yeah. T, G, and C, basically. So we should know one thing. I think, let me just stop this sharing of screen here. Yeah. I think now I think everyone can see me very clearly, right? Correct? Yeah. So we should know what basically here, DNA, correct? So basically the A and T pair together. What is it? A and T pair together and C and G pair together. Okay, so let me share the screen now. A and T. A and T pair together. Pair together. So it means complement together. Leave it the spelling, what I wrote. And next one is G and C. Please write it down. G and C pair together. Correct? A and T and G and C. Now come back to the question. What is the complementary of G? Let me write it down here. This G, right? G, what I should write? What is the thing which I wrote in the board? G and C pair together. G and C pair together. So instead of this, let me write it. Yeah. I can write as what? C. What about A? It is T. What about T? It is A. What about G? It is C. What about C? It is G. So option Yes. So which option is the answer? Yes, option three is the answer. Very good. And please continuously chat with me, which shows the interest. Okay. Whether it is right or wrong, that's not an issue here. Fine. So anyway, once I come down, anyway, I'll see that. But if you know the complementary thing, it will be very, very easy. Let me share the screen. So what is this A, T, G, and C basically? A is nothing but adenine. A stands for, I'll write down here, adenine. 
what about t thymine t h y m i n e thymine i can put m i n e thymine what about c cytosine cytosine what about g guanine nine so if you know this pairing together you will be able to do it so now you tell me is this question very easy the moment you see g the moment you see g what is the complementary of g complementary of g is what c so we can directly tick this yes now you know it that is great Super. So this is again a very important thing to know. Okay. So I hope those who don't know, it is clear now. Now let me come back to the normal questions here. Okay. A compound A, what is it basically? C7H8O is insoluble in NaHCO3 solution, but dissolved in NaOH. And gives a characteristic, I'm talking about this question three, and gives a characteristic color with the neutral FeCl2 solution when treated with bromine water. Compound A forms the compound B with the formula C7H5OBR. What is my A? That is a question here. Yes, again it is coming, it comes on what phenols, alcohol, phenols and ether, the phenols part it will come. Because we can see all the phenols here. Correct, we can see all the phenols here. See, how do we identify first of all whether it's a phenol or not? Option it is given first it is phenol, all are phenol. Second thing is what? It dissolved. This is a very key point. They can ask this time also. It dissolved in NaOH and gives a characteristic color with a neutral FeCl solution, which means this indicates what? OH group, the phenol group, phenolic group, which means benzene ring with the OH. Very important. This year, they can ask a question from this. Now, after that, when treated with bromine water, compound A forms. We have to know what is the compound A. Correct? And then it gives me the compound B with the molecular formula C7H5OBR, the precipitate. Anything with the bromine will be a precipitate. Correct? So, which will give me what basically here? This is my ortho, meta, and para. Ortho, meta, and para. So, what is the compound basically here? How many of you don't know this? Please let me know. How many of you don't know this particular question? Kindly let me know in the chat option. If you don't know this question, the phenols chapter. Okay, fine. So if you don't know, I'll just write it down this thing. See, basically from the first itself, from the alcohol phenols and ether chapter, correct? So we can clearly say here what the does not, but it dissolves in NaOH and gives a characteristic color with the neutral FeCl solution, which means it should be a phenolic group, correct? It should be what? A phenolic group, correct? Yes. Now, 
we are in confusion that which compound it is. Yes. So let me draw a phenolic group. I'll take, let's take, uh, I'll take the M cross all here. This is M cross all I'll take, CRSOL. This is my ortho, meta, and para. Correct. So there are two options here. One is uh, meta M cross all, and there is para cross all in the options. Correct. And what is the thing? It is insoluble in NaHCO3. So, which means my metacrosol with NaHCO3, it forms insoluble precipitate. Insoluble precipitate. PPT. Correct. And with sodium hydroxide, with NaOH. This is soluble in sodium hydroxide. And upon bromination, upon bromination, what it will give me? How many BR is there? I think three BRs. I think so. Three. C7H5OBR3. C7H5 or BR3. This is my C7H5OBR3. Correct. Only my M crossol forms what obeys these properties. It is insoluble in NaCO3. It is soluble in sodium hydroxide and it is giving me C7H. By OBR, this may compound B. So the option for this is what? My M Crassol. Option B. Option B is the correct answer in this. Option B is the correct answer. So those who just came late to the class, anyway, I just shared an important question here. I think two students has just now joined for them. So the primary structure in nucleic acid is which one? GAT, GC. So the complementary we have to find of this. G complementary is C. A complementary is T. That's all. So option C is the answer. So this later on, I'll discuss with you. Okay. Once the class is over. Complementary of G is C and complementary of A is T. That's all. So directly I can mark the option C here. Fourth one, please. Yeah, the answer to the fourth one. So this is my SOCL2 they are given, benzene, HC and H2O, and then they are given as the options too. Identify D, the last one, identify. I think I got one answer. No, that is not the answer. The question is to find identify option D. Yes, that's the correct answer.
So what is this basically? Acetic acid. Okay, I think I'm getting different, different answers. CN and all, not, not at all there in the picture, okay. Cyanide and all. Hmm. So better I think I have to do it. So my acetic acid, CH3, COOH, correct? With SOCl2 will give me what? CH3, CO, Cl. That is my A. And this with what? This with benzene or anhydrous aluminum chloride. This with benzene or anhydrous aluminum chloride is giving me what C6H5 CO CH3 that is basically my B and now this is giving what with presence of what HCN HCN that will give me I'll write down here HCN. So that will give me what? A benzene ring. Correct? With what? What will be the other compounds here? C, my CH3, and with this, what it will be attached to functional group? CN and OH. C, CH3, then on top, CN and OH respectively. And then coming with water, reaction with water, what will happen? The cyanide groups will go away and it will form an acid. So, what is it basically? I'll draw it the benzene. Correct. C and then what? OH, CH3, and here I'll draw my COH. Kindly copy it down. Is it done with everyone copying it down? Let me know. I'll go on to the next question. If, even if you're not done, done copying it down, don't worry. I'll share you the notes of this. My own written notes, I'll share it to you. Okay. No need to worry. Let's go to the, yeah.
the class 11 topic class 11 topic the ka value for acids is given correct 1.3 in 10 power minus 2 then 4 in 10 power minus 4 1 point in 10 power minus 5 4 in 10 power minus 10 which of the above acids produces stronger conjugate base in the aqueous solution they are given everything as acids here h2so3 hno2 c3coh and hcn which of the above acids produces stronger conjugate base in the aqueous solution this is in class 11 equilibrium chapter If you don't know this thing, let me know you don't know. I got one answer, option C. Suppose if you don't know, kindly type don't know. No need to be uh, thinking too much on this. So that we will learn something new and we'll go to the next question. What about others? Only Sai is giving me the answers. What about Dania? Dania is there. Then Dhyan, Arshit, Diya, Bharat. Those who are using the laptop, Antara. Okay. D. Okay. D for Dania. So I think, yes, the question here is, oh, Harsh has given me option C. The correct answer of this is option D for this. Option D is the correct answer. See, what is the key word in this question? The key point in this question is what? If the K value is low, less. The K value is less. Less will be the acidic strength. Okay, less the acidic strength. More the more or stronger will be the will get the stronger conjugate base. This is the keyword or key point in this. See, we can clearly see in this question, 1.3 into 1.3 into 10 power minus 2, 4 into 10 power minus 4, 1.8 into 10 power minus 8, 4 into 10 power minus 10. So, 4 into 10 power minus 10 in the sense, this has got very less acidic strength very less acidic strength correct so which is this common basically my hcn so if it is giving very less acidic strength it will produce what stronger conjugate based on the aqueous solution okay so option d is the answer Okay, yeah. 